hi guys and welcome back to the channel so in this video i will show you how to how to implement a day filter function into your own expert advisor so i have decided to use an sar based expert advisor for this video and yeah so i will show you how this ea firstly works and after that i will uh, update its source code with the day filter function so the ea is pretty simple it basically opens by and sell positions when the direction of sar indicator changes so you can see the sar indicator right here on my screen and i think it's pretty obvious what is the trend change or the direction change basically when these dots uh, go from being above or below uh, the price to the opposite then it means that uh, there's a change of the trend and we can use this information for opening buy and sell positions so i will uh, show you the source code as well which is right here so what can you see here so firstly i import all of the things and declare all, all of the variables that i have to uh, after that i create some input field uh, right here so here are the settings for sar indicator and here is just take profit and stop loss points then on this on, on init function i uh, load the sar indicator into the sar handle which i use right here so firstly i get the most uh, the most recent ask and bid price uh, which i use later on when opening buy and sell positions after that i create this sar values array which is used for the storage of sar values so here i use this function in order to get those sar values and then i create this direction array in which i basically store the direction for the last two sar values yeah and then i check if there was a change in the direction and if there was a change i e either open buy and sell positions uh, which happens right here also there's one additional condition and that is that the, the total number of positions on my account has to be equal to zero in order to open these positions so yeah that's it for the ea i will also show you how it works uh, right here and yeah so here here it opens buy position here sell position buy position buy position so it's nothing fancy really it just uh, catches those uh, change uh, trend change basically and it opens positions based on that also you can uh, spot here that for example here it opens one buy position and it, it doesn't open all of these other positions with all of these other signals and that's because of that condition that we check for uh, total number of positions to be equal to zero so yeah that's how it works and now we can move on to the to the main thing uh, or main focus of this video yeah and that is the day filter so what is a day filter so if I run this test and I don't know if it's going to be profitable or not probably it won't be profitable but here in the okay this is not bad this is not bad it's not profitable but not bad EA and here in the backtest uh, uh, back test, you can see all of the information about that testing period or about this test so here you can see profit factor uh, number of profit trades number of losing trades and percentage of both of these you can see total number of positions and deals and yeah all of this stuff but what you can also see is that how your ea performed on each day which you can see right here profits and losses by weekdays so from this plot we can say that you do profit on tuesdays 
Wednesdays and on Fridays as well. But you do lose on Thursdays and on uh, the Mondays. So what we can do is that we can s uh, tell the EA that we don't want to open any positions on these two days. And just by doing that, we can increase the profitability of the EA. Uh, yeah, just like that. So that's what I will do. So yeah, let's get to it. So I will create a new section in this code. So let's call this day filter section. Okay, so yeah. So it's pretty simple to be honest. The first thing you have to do is that you have to create a new variable which will have type of MQL date time and let's just call it time and then I have to get uh, the current time which I can do by uh, calling this time current function and here I just have to paste my time variable. And yeah, so now uh, I can access a lot of things for that time variable. So if I type time dot, then you can see all of the things that I can check. So I can check uh, the day, day of week, day of year, hour, minute, month, second, and year. Okay, so these are all of the things that I can access. And I only need day of week. So what I will do is that I will create a new integer variable because it uh, returns like the positional argument or uh, the number for the, the current day, basically. So integer, and let's call it day, which, which is equal to time dot day of week. And let's start by commenting out the day so we can check like, uh, yeah, so we can check it. So let's bring on the visual mode back here and let's start this. So now we are at day four. Okay, so I'm not 100% sure, but I think that, uh, okay, so four, now I just want to know like, five okay so now we are at day five so what happens now and day one okay so we can see that uh, the, the 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 days do do range from one to five so that makes sense and we can use this information for for filtering out the the days basically so yeah, so now it occurs to me that I have to take this and paste it up here because what I will do now is that I will simply say so if day is equal to the first day because b uh, based on uh, the backtest it was on uh, the Monday or Thursday, I think. So if day is equal to one or day is equal to four, I want it to return. And by doing this, I won't uh, execute any of this. So if we are on uh, either of these two days, then I will return and I won't open any positions. So that's basically what I am saying here. And now if I check this, without the visual mode, because this will be obvious in the backtest, you can see that the performance increases pretty much. Yeah, the performance goes up and we still can see that we uh, closed some positions on these two dates. And that's because like if we open position on this day and we, uh, we then like it can, how to say it? Okay, so if you open position on this day, you can hold that position uh, to the next day. And then when we close that position on this day, then it basically means uh, the profit and loss for, for, for this day uh, right here. Okay, I hope this makes sense. So let's also try out one more thing. So basically if this means that we hold these positions over the weekend, then what we can try is that we can filter out the previous days. So in this case, it's Wednesday and Friday. So let's do that. So 
I will filter out the third day and the fifth day and you will see what happens. So, okay, it doesn't improve, so, or maybe it does, but you can see that yeah, it, it doesn't make really uh, that much sense. Okay, so we will uh, bring these days back. Okay, so as you can see, uh, this is extremely simple thing to do. Basically, you just check uh, the back test and then you filter out those days that are bad for you. And you can increase the profitability of the EA uh, just in seconds, basically. And what it really takes is just one, two, three and four lines of code. So this is extremely simple. Uh, I will try one more thing, like I will check if this works on a greater scale as well. So let's change USDN and let's do this backtest for the last 10 years. Okay, so now we are opening positions on each day. So uh, I commented out this uh, option right here. So we ignore it basically. And yeah, <laughs> this is this is really bad. And in this case, there's like not much we can do because we are losing on every single day. So we can apply this uh, to the USDN. So let's go back to the Euro USD and try, let's try that one. Because if we would like filter out all of the days, then like it's not something we would want to do because yeah, it's just not something we want to do. And it's pretty much the same thing. Okay, so here we can see that the most losing days are these two. So Thursday and Wednesday. So I will filter these out. So if day is equal to three and four or or four, I want um, run the rest of the code. So let's see how this goes. Okay, so it didn't uh, really, like it's, it's more profitable than before, but it's not profitable at all. It seems like the issue is like with the concept of this EA because it's just so, so easy, basically, so simple. Then, yeah, it really doesn't. Okay, so let's try something like this. Now I'm just trying things that uh, I want to try. So let's just set in uh, just extremely high stop loss and extremely low uh, take profit, which is not something I would recommend doing in your EAs, but I just want to test this out if this somehow. Okay, so now it enhances the performance or it does not. Okay, so in the back test, we see the same thing. Basically, we are losing on every single day. So, yeah, I would apply this only to the EAs that have some winning days and some losing days, okay? So if you are losing on every single day, then you can't use that. So for example, in this case, yeah, you can enhance the performance by filtering out these days because you would filter all of these days. So that's not something you want to do. I will try with the increased take profit. This is the last test I will do, I promise. I just want to see something new. Okay, so maybe we can work with this. So let's try what will happen if we only allow uh, the trading on Tuesday and Wednesday. Because on the Tuesday you basically like uh, hold these positions overnight because it has take profit of 100, stop loss of uh, 1000 and stop loss of 2000. Therefore, you will hold those positions overnight uh, to the next day. So I would keep these two these two days and now I, I will just do if day is not equal to the second day and, and day is not equal to the third day. Okay, so Tuesday, Wednesday, yeah, uh, then I won't open any positions, so can we, can we get something out of this? Okay, this seems weird. Yeah, 
Okay, let's go back to the previous statement. So if one So we want to keep the Tuesday and Wednesday based on that. So four or j equals five. Okay. So but this is basically the same thing. Also, the next option is that uh, the take profit is and s and uh, stop losses are just too large that we like hold those positions for a couple of days. So that's basically the case here. So you have to be aware of that. Anyway, as as we seen, it's possible to upgrade the performance of your EAs with the usage of day filter, but there are some conditions to that. The first condition is that you have to have some winning days. And I would use this only for EAs that for example have one losing day and all of the rest of the days are winning days, okay? I wouldn't use this on EA that has one winning day and four losing days because then it just uh, really doesn't make sense for me. Also, you have to be aware of ho of holding the positions overnight because then it skews uh, like the view on which days are profitable or not because if you open a position on the first day and then you hold that position for uh, four days then it shows that there was a losing position on the last day okay if that makes sense so be aware of that as well anyway i hope that this was helpful it was very simple but i hope it was helpful and i will see you in the next video bye